but I suppose that you suppose supposing. that we suppose we need repose right now. Need repose. 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 Pose. Pose. Do you propose a repose? Do I? I repose a repose. Ta, there's no time for repose. It's time for. Where's I the propose line? A, a, a where's the line episode. You, you propose, and what do you propose it be called? Tokyo Drift. Tokyo Drift. Skirt! Skirt, skirt! I believe, honestly, the fasterest and the furiouserest of the movies of the fast and the, and the furiousest of the movies' movies. They've got a tenth one lined up for 2020-something. <laughs> Five, I think, or something. They have a tenth one. My understanding is they're going to do a kind of Weekend at Bernie style, though, I... because they, well, they realize that with Vin alone, it doesn't work, so they're actually going to go dig up Paul Walker. Right. And they're going to have cats that move him. <sighs> So it's going to be like a weekend at Bernie's. Well, a weekend at cats, Paul Walker's. A weekend at Paul Walker's. Where cats. maybe some interns. Well, the cats might not work. That was more a Rick and Morty thing. Yeah. I don't know if that works in non-cartoons. Yeah. <laughs> but there is a movie called Weekend at Bernie's that is about guys showing up and there's a dead dude. And I've heard I of think Weekend that, at Bernie's. I think that we could get better acting out of Paul Walker than oh, Ben. Wow. <laughs> in his current state. I've never understood any of the hype at all. I, I've never been interested to watch a Fast and Furious movie. I'm not opposed to the it. idea. I'm not judging. I have friends that love them. I'm not saying they're bad movies. No, I, I'm they're not saying that either because I've never seen one. You know? I have. I just don't get it. My outlook, and this is no judgment on Fast and Furious movies, is um, if I wanted to see the best modern Fast and the Furious movie, I'd watch Gone in 60 Seconds with Angelina Jolie and Nick Cage. Right. No, not in the franchise. <laughs> if I had to delve into the franchise, the fastest, okay. the furiousest, has none of those people in it, and it's Tokyo Drift. <laughs> <laughs> What's Tokyo Drift about? Just cars? Uh, Just drifting in Tokyo. Drifting. Yeah, no, they drift. It's there's there's drifting all through the movie. And they do mountains, and it's sweet. Oh snap! But I mean, it's got a story. Yeah. A better one. It's got. <laughs> <laughs> what if we all called each other family again in another movie but anyway <laughs> <laughs> you're like that corporate world aren't you fast and furious where you're just like oh no we're all family we're all family we're all look family. at how much we can make off this one dying family <laughs> damn man came at that wall too fast man didn't, didn't you, I? that what, what d dang <laughs> did i hit it yes <laughs> I have nothing against any of these people. <laughs> I want to go on record now. What we're talking today really is about the fact that we seem to move in bursts. Yeah, we, we do. The quickening was what came up. I mean, and there's we, an episode out there called The Quickening, which relates to how it feels. That's how it feels. It feels like sometimes we ramp up in energy and, mm -hmm. and sort of coalesce into this. Oh, snap. We're doing things. We had like a power day yesterday. We did. So, Monday... Just, just so everybody's like, oh, they had a power day. What does it mean? Well, we got up about noon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we really didn't get up at noon, for the record. We got up earlier we both, than that. We both got up pretty early. But we got into but the we, office at noon. Yeah. That we work, we plan our week. That's the interesting part. So what we talked about and why we were having a meeting, which is what we use Mondays for. Everybody's like, you're not doing nothing on Monday, are you? I'm like, no, Monday's like the most important day of the week, but I can't point you at the schedule and go, this is what I'm doing. Right. Other than what I'm doing is sitting down here with you, and we're trying to figure out the rest of right, it. Right, right. We're trying to figure out the rest of the whole thing. And, and we're not good at that. Yes. So what was powerful was we figured out spaces. This was the first time we had, like, an extensive schedule. Like, we've had scheduling meetings before, but, like, this was an extensive. <laughs> somewhere this in the, was, somewhere in the scheduling, basement, scheduling, there's, a, there's a, a weekly calendar thing that we swore we were going to put up. Yeah. That we can't even find anymore. Yeah. That we were joked about scheduling a meeting, about scheduling a meeting to hang the board so we could schedule a meeting about making schedules. I am not making up we this finally, conversation. We finally skipped most of the scheduling and got to the scheduling the meetings thing. Well, the funny thing <laughs> is, what forced our hand was Memorial Day. Yeah. That was perspective. Yes. It was like... Really? You're bitching about doing three or four shows in a day? Yeah. 
What's hard about that? Well, it's we in comparison. Once like, we did, once we did twenty four hours, it feels like okay, I can do a couple shows a day. I can, I can do that. I can as long as I'm as long as we're scheduling it and we're making sure that we're not completely overloading ourselves. You know, we could do it. Well, the and it was the 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 metaphor I used was perfect. It's you know what? If you think it's cold inside in the middle of winter, right? Walk outside naked for five seconds. That's all it takes. I promise <laughs> when you walk back in, you'll be like, oh, my God, this is the warmest place I've ever been. Perspective. <laughs> Perspective. So you go, let's do 24 hours. Oh, my God. Hey, you want to do three? Sure, that sounds easy. That sounds easy. Walk out in the cold for five seconds. Well, so. If you, if you want to run a marathon, train train to run past the marathon. Train to run longer than the marathon, I mean. My brother's last marathon he was in tip-top shape afterwards and went out. Mm. Two weeks later, he had a heart attack. Right. And he's fine. And love him to death. He's fine. He's fine. <laughs> um, but, the, yeah, that you get to the point where what... And he had started training for ultras. Ultra marathons. Okay. So above 26. Right. Yeah, they have crazy ones. Quite they have ones bit. that are hundreds of miles and take months or weeks or Jeez, something. Jeez, I, I don't, I don't understand how stuff. you could run that long. I don't... It, it's, it's a physically miracle to me. I don't destroying, know. yes. But supposedly, I mean, these guys are amazing. They they figured right, it out. They, they there constantly are guys, do there it. are guys that have there, there are guys have always that have been made... people that did this. Yes. That there were always guys that the reason what was mattered the most to them in the army was they could run quickly in a direction to get a message to somebody. Mm. Right. And then horses, you know. But I mean that running across state and stuff like that i'm thinking past the well, u.s no. but you're right no well, i i was if you think i was thinking native... i was actually thinking about more so world war one and stuff well, like no, that if they you were think doing about they like were doing they Jesus had people Pepus and his people uh-huh that the original americans north south central absolutely there's a whole movie uh i think it's called dunkirk um that's all about they're trying to get a message from one side of some place to the other they're trying to, he's trying to he's trying to move like he's trying to he's running a long distance and the whole movie is shot in one shot oh, okay and it's like he's trying to deliver this message i want to do a movie called south central now that's about guatemala but anyways okay <laughs> <laughs> just to mess with you okay. let's go see that movie about south Se they're not even speaking english <laughs> they're not speaking english what the heck <laughs> that so we sat down to look at i mean we're still gonna have where's the line tuesday yeah. wednesday thursday but yep. we ended up, I think, looking at almost nine additional spots, if I remember correctly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Yep. Okay, that means 12 shows a week. Yup. It means 12 shows it a does, week. But I'm looking at it going, not bad. It probably ended up being about 10 shows a week with some of them being us working on music here in studio because we scheduled music at the end of days so we could push down. Mm-hmm. Because that was meaningful. Cause it, it, yeah. So it's this weird thing that happens. I look back and it all makes sense. I'm like, why am I having such a hard time with June? Because mm. I needed to. Because you needed to have a hard time with no, June? No, for you. Why? How so? Look at the music. Look at what came out of it. Yeah. I made some stuff. <laughs> if I'm on the ball... And scheduling everybody I was scheduling before, those guys aren't in. Right. We don't begin dreaming this direction about this other piece. Right. So my argument with Tokyo Drift is faster, furiouser, and yes, I'm drifting. <laughs> and yes, I'm drifting. <laughs> that we feel ourselves coming up, but then you also were very open to you go, oh, wait a minute. I hadn't seen that piece that way. What if we do this? Right. That when we talk about um, we're going to do a weekly contest. We're going to put out beats once a week on all of our platforms mm -hmm. in, a, in a playlist style. And then what we want is artists can do any, they can use any of those beats, do whatever they want on them. We're going to play the best ones on the show, and then we'll set up time with the artists, or we'll have the artists in that mm -hmm. day, depending on, you know, either A, 
you end up on that show guaranteed you're going to end up on 10 questions if you hadn't done it. Right. Guaranteed, you know what, you're going to, we have a Discord that's involved in that process too, where people can submit beats right. to become part of the beats that go out to become, I actually a beat gotta, contest into a rap contest into a. I got I to gotta show you one of the short videos I made to like basically explain the contest. I, I, I made a 30 second video that was like. Did you tell him it was the fasterest and the furiouserest? Nah, I got to, then I got to do another one make it the fastest this is the fastest and the furious contest you've ever seen and then you got no, and then you got a rat you got to put together a rap that tells all the rules that goes oh, I, I do not have the mental capacity for that with the week yeah, we have planned but no, no 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 you just you do one of your fast raps i can't fast raps take a lot of words takes a lot of words can man. you take some I, I have too many so you want some i don't know man <laughs> i'm like wait man. a minute so can, do you have do you find do you have trouble writing to a purpose other than your own no it kind of sometimes sometimes when i'm writing with a person it makes it a lot easier like when i'm writing so some one time uh my friend sent me this track and i wrote to it it took what me about thirty minutes with the versus heat that you really want to see a repeat, but you're not a rapper, you're just a clapper, you wanna bring it to you like a snapper, but then in the end you need a rapper on your clapper so that you can make a beat so that we can see it sweet. So come to us every week. We've got beats, you've got raps, we've got lines, you've got time. Let's do this. Okay. Um Okay. Do you want me to finish my thought? I missed your thought. I was uh, rapping. I, was, I thought we were trying to okay. rap. No, I thought we I were doing what I was talking about. What are we talking about? I was, I was talking about how I wrote. I wrote a verse in like thirty minutes. Versus like, sometimes my songs can take weeks to finish. Like yeah. where it's just where it's just me, and it's like sometimes I have things to go off of based on the verse someone sent me or whatever. You know, like. But do you think if you depends. had a list of prompts? If I had a list of prompts. So you're going okay. So what you're doing is you write down the stuff you're trying to. Okay, so you take. This is what I'm trying. This is the information I'm trying to get out. Mm -hmm. I think it still line. take. I think it still take me a while. I think. Really? Because I. Yeah. Especially I find if I'm that, not. I find that gimmicky, and I'm not working hard. Especially if I'm hard. not working together with someone. If See, I'm working together with someone, it's a lot easier. In my head, that's the part that's it's so easy because it's gimmicky. I don't have to worry about it being. It doesn't have to be flashy. It doesn't have to use complicated words or make me look good. I just have right. to use words that rhyme really easily. Right, I got you. And hit a bunch of them, and that way you can rhyme it off real quick. Right. You can suce it out hard. Right. And so if you've got a rhythm in a, an end, an end line, mm -hmm. you know, airs, eds, e, e, there are some words that are just perfect for if you want to throw something off really quick. I was thinking about this the other day in the shower. Well, ing, ing is, is a really useful thing. Ing can be popular, but... The problem is a lot of it sounds best shortened to un anyways, but that also opens up some other things. Huh? You, mm? you drop the G. Uh, yeah. You... Straightening. So I like ING, but without the G, because then it lines up with everything. Yeah. Now you have now it's EN and IN, and if I just take the G off, I can rhyme it with anything. Yeah. Anything. Anything. Anything? Anything. Anything. Why, is, you do why does that sound me? sound vaguely British? Anything. That's fine. <laughs> but that I or so the interesting thing was we were God we get off to subject because there's so much going on. Yeah, there it's, really is. I, it's happening. It's happening. Yeah. And the funny thing is though, there's this feeling that it's happening as much as we feel like we're in the eye of the storm, like we're not doing it. It feels does like... Is that what it... I don't mean... I, I was actually kind of projecting it, but does that feel like that to you? Like you're going, shit, it's happening again. Nah, it feels, <laughs> that, it feels that way where we're like, we're calm about making our lives chaos. <laughs> not well, chaos. It's an ordered chaos. So ooh, it's not necessarily... No, it is like standing in the eye of the storm. And sometimes we get stuck into the winds. So like, when we're the most focused, we come in here into a calm and it's still spinning around us. It's when we get caught in the spin yeah. that we have to work our way back in. Okay, we can stop for... I saw some things. Yeah. Yeah, we can stop. But we do our work at the eye. Yeah, definitely. I...
I. I. It's the eye of the dagger. It's the the eyes have it. The eyes. Well, but that. Look into the eyes. You will find the soul. So. Labor Day. Labor Day. Labor Day. Labor Day. Ladies and gentlemen, or lady or gentleman, whichever of you it is that's out there, hi, Ross. Whichever one of you. I believe it's hi, Ross. Yeah, it's hi, Ross. Hey, Ross. That we will be on midnight to midnight on Labor Day. (laughs) September 5th, we will do another midnight to midnight show. It will be different. We That's will... actually my little brother's birthday. That's, That's cool. We should have him on. How old is he? Like eight. <laughs> I've interviewed almost that age. I'd call him. I'd call him on his birthday if he didn't. Yeah, want I'm gonna call him. No, we, I'm I mean on. I mean, I'd wish him happy birthday internationally yes. on air no, I... with great fervor. Well, I'm gonna shout him out or something, but I was gonna get him on the air and have you sing him happy birthday. Nah, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. Why? Nah. You're embarrassed by saying happy birthday? No. Hey, you are. I don't want my little brother on air. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's fine, too. Well, He's can... too young. He's too young for Well, right a now. voice, that's why, I, that's why I'm easy. I'm like, eh, hey, voice, I don't care. Right. I, I care if, if the pedos have something to look at, then I have a problem. Right. I mean, I, I assume we all already have X number of pedos watching you. I mean, we got one guy that seems to be watching. <sighs> the one person watching is me. No. That's the funny part. That's the funny part. <laughs> Except it's not fun. No. Oh, man. Oh, man. That I've got so many friggin' ideas in my head, it's not funny. Me too. And some of them, I don't even know if they're for this year. It, dude, it's hard to tell. It's hard to... to like, some to ideas, the steps aren't there. Some of them, there are. It's like, there are some things that are like, okay, I could do this right now. There are certain things that I could do right now. But, at I, the same time, it, it, it's, I, was having, I was having this conversation yesterday. Um, sometimes there are so many ideas that I don't even know which ideas are plausible, which ideas are that's why I can you do, put the, into the trick action. Is, what I love about that is, instead of attaching them and trying to run, right? those are the ones you let float around in your head. They'll go together. Right. That in a world where everybody wants to listen to half of what somebody said and run away and fix it, mm-hmm. it always goes bad. The pause, the conversation, the communication, and letting things rest mm-hmm. is what lets the bread rise. Mm-hmm. And then when you proof it, no, I'm just <laughs> let's go into a bread metaphor. <laughs> let's go into bread. Hey, Ross, did you like that? We're doing this show for you today. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I hate when I know. Sometimes I notice, and the worst is the odd thing is sometimes I'll notice and be like, Err. "I know this isn't where it actually happens." Right. I know that live isn't where I'm. Right, where people are actually. And it, everybody. Sh- <sighs> I'm okay with that. I'm just. I'm. I'm getting. I'm trying to i started sharing stuff and posting stuff and stuff like that so i'm trying to get it to where our audience can go to the other places where we are very true see us and hopefully that stuff can start to gain some traction you know but i wonder are we considered like creators or something on facebook with the number of i i don't have like a i we should i I feel like there should be something that goes hey we're cool (laughs) <laughs> We're fatter and furiouser than you are. <laughs> We've been to Tokyo on a mountain. We drifted. <laughs> we drifted on a mountain. <laughs> we might have to watch. We, there's no time today to watch Tokyo Drift. Really? Yeah, you're right. No, today you're is insane. Accurate. Uh, in we've assessment. got. Let me think. We got this one noon to one. We oh. So, do you have a playlist for Zach G today? Because we've talked to yeah, Zach G. Yeah, so I've talked to Zach G. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get the playlist ready right before the thing. Yes, I know. I know. I talked to him yesterday, and he sent me the play. He sent me five songs to play yesterday. So I just have you to. You haven't listened? Oh, I'm kicking. No, you. I just have to get the, the playlist together okay. and stuff. So. What about Dosed? What about Dosed? 
Dose is a 10 questions. Dose is a 10 questions. And so is... I don't know what's really going to happen with Caesar. Tonight. Well, yeah. Uh, I'm playing it by ear. Yeah. The reality is, though, yeah, those are, those are the three. We've got Zach G. Mm-hmm. Where's Zach G from? Syracuse. That's right. I never remember yeah. Zach G. Dost. Columbus. Columbus man. Yup. Right here in our hood. Yup. I'm really interested in talking to him because they're doing an interesting thing. They're going at it a little bit differently but with a similar thought. Mm -hmm. It does seem more like crew versus posse, like there's a bunch of them working together to try and mm -hmm. something chaos or something. Yeah. I listen to some of Dost's music. His, his music is like hyper and violent and I like it. <laughs> I I love <laughs> I love energy. Can you tone can you can you have a conversation with well, Will that um I don't have an issue with some use of word choice, but if it goes over the top it's hard to keep up. Yes. Yes, I Hope, understand. So I'm hoping that we can get a mellow ten questions and no, we'll do a music with a when we do the music we'll put a, an advisory on it. Right. You know, there's gotta be a way to do that. I know there is. There's an explicit. There's an explicit thing right. on on. That in well, things. but that in general, the slide across on 10Q, I don't worry about. Right. So these are. So, as I was mentioning, the music part has intensified. But for me, that always needed to happen. Mm -hmm. That was always a big push on my end, even. Sometimes I felt like I was pushing you more than going, no, we have to make, this is not, we're not one thing. Yeah. You know, everybody go, oh, how's the podcast going? I'm not doing a podcast. I do a podcast. Mm -hmm. It is such a small piece of who I am and what I'm doing that. Well, the stories feels more important than the podcast no I, I see that's the weird it doesn't it doesn't feel okay it doesn't feel, i think this is just as important okay easily without thought that and that can be that's that's the mistake people make they go mm -hmm. which one's important which one of your babies do you love bitch mm -hmm. um that it doesn't so it doesn't feel like for me and I, i'm not this part is huge because we talk about the realities of what we're going through. Mm -hmm. It's overwhelming. That's the point. The thing people don't talk about is when they're in the midst of even doing things successfully. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at them. They're having a great life. Right. But you don't they're see... Working they're working their ass yeah. off or, you know, you don't know what's... Keanu Reeves. Mm -hmm. The amount of tragedy in that man's life, if you go look it up, would blow your ass away. Yeah. But you could sit around <laughs> being jealous of his life. Because oh it's yeah. it's Keanu Reeves. You know stop it. You're why you got Keanu Reeves' ass on your mind? Why so, did you say it that way is what I was trying to figure you didn't out. Say anything unusual. You did say it why that way. Why is it when you heard blow and Keanu Reeves' ass you, you got excited over there? No, I was trying to figure out why cocaine? you said it that way. Was it a cocaine reference? No. No? What oh in your head it was Oh god, oh you're my disgusting. Gosh. No, you're disgusting. You're the one who brought it up. I didn't say anything. You did. It was in your You were head. inferring things. Actually, the funny thing is, in that time, it, wasn't, it just came out no, that way. No, you weren't. No, when you that, said it, no, when you said I it, I even, knew you weren't inferring anything. But, but, the funny but thing I was, was like, why did he say it so, that way? So whose brain did it come out of? Oh, my God. See? Yeah, no. I know. That's it's the worst, isn't it? When you suddenly realize, oh, damn, he wasn't thinking that. I was. <laughs> Projection's a mother... Man. Don't you think? I think. When you sit there and start piecing it out, you're like, oh, damn, it was me again. God damn it. It's always me. God damn not it. Not in a bad way, though. Well. It's not, it's me in a bad way. It's me in a, oh. Oh. You will you won't, like, you'll have trouble to. You know what? I'm hoping at the moment I finally have the big stroke as opposed to all these little ones I'm not telling anybody about. Mm -hmm. That suddenly I'll just speak gibberish and think it's meaningful. And I am willing, if my head works and all that comes out is gibberish, I am willing to live in that world. <laughs> if all you, if your head works and you can think your thoughts perfectly, right? Right. But, but I can't communicate but them. But you can't communicate them. You're fine. Yeah. So as long as your head works. Can I type? Yeah. 
So, but it'll be gibberish though. Oh, I type gibberish too. Yeah, you gotta type gibberish too. So my why would everything I have to... that comes out is gibberish. Well, no, if the thought but I thought maybe I could get my muscles to work or something. You know who it is? Who is it? <laughs> what a ta. <laughs> 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 and that was the day Matt Hayes changed his name and color and became Pootie Tang. What a Pootie Tang. What a ta. Yeah. Not the Bobbities. <laughs> I do think about it though because I. Because of WebMD, and that shit is such bullshit. Lots of us just get goofy as we get older. It's well, okay. It's, and I'm ancient. I'm only 51, guys. What I, what I, I, I learned pretty early that I, I would start to develop symptoms after I looked them up. The so quickening. I, I stopped doing that. <laughs> Crap, I know what it means. What does it mean? What does it mean? Faster you? and furious, sir. Faster and furious, sir. I can't wait for Labor Day. We got stuff to get out. Yeah. We got real stuff to get out. We yeah. have other projects. It's the funny thing is everybody would like my focus to be on money. Mm. Everybody would like me to be going. Where's the money? If I die, there'll be lots of viewers. You'll all be fun. Deep shit. Or I don't die, and there's lots of viewers, and we're all fine. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not... A, okay, so here's the problem. I'm not attached to either. I really am just reporting... Well, I think... I think... I think Some we, of it is my honest anxiety, and that's one of the ways I cope with it, is there, passive ideations. I think there's some strategies we got going that will make us blow up when at, when it's when the time is right, you know? Well, And I feel it already. Yeah. I mean, Nate coming in is huge. I've, uh, trust me, I am going over and over. I have a great um, poop speech for um, grade school. Okay. I can take them on a journey where they close their eyes and they go from disgusted to the happiest people in the world. And I can take them there with their eyes closed, all the adults, all the children, and go, see, that's, we can, we all share that. We all, everybody you felt everybody poops. thinking the same thing. Everybody And the poops. best part is it starts with poop because you get the entire grade school kids on board with you because the first thing you do is talk about how you did a turd show and how could they possibly trust you to talk to kids. <laughs> You're talking about turds and poop. Nobody, it's it's yeah. not actually a bad thing. Yeah. But all the kids are like, <laughs> right? Dick butt kiss. <laughs> but do you find? Yeah. I I think I can pull that off in a meaningful way. Um. I think the poop one will go over well, not the dick butt kiss one. No, I'm not gonna say dick. That's the one that always makes you laugh. Dick butt kiss. It's kind of funny. It is because it's, it's pretty funny, man. No, the funniest is on that show where they're the aliens and the one kid is named Dick Butt Kiss. There's a show where they all have names after famous people. Uh-huh. And so, the, I think the dad is Larry Bird, and the kid is Dick Buttkiss. And, like, they have them properly gendered <laughs> and everything. But everybody, there's there's a guy named Kareem Abdul-Jabbar that's a little, you know... I've heard of this show. I remember I, this show. Okay. I, I, yeah, didn't we watch it briefly? I think we watched it briefly. It was interesting, but not... Yeah. It's the, the family that moves into the development that was actually all bought up by aliens... One of the aliens. Oh, I know what that. And... I know what that show is. It's um, it's the the Rick and Morty thing that they made. It's like Rick and Morty, but it's not, right? No. No. Okay. No Rick and Morty. Aspect. There was a show that was like Rick and Morty, but it wasn't. I would enjoy that. That I thought. Was there one? Yeah, it was with the aliens and stuff, and they came. They came to Earth and stuff like that, and they were. You she mean she Bird had Rock? a wall. She had a no, 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 no. She had a wall. The the little girl on the show had a wall full of like people and stuff that she had shrunken down and put in the wall. It was live action or a cartoon? It was a cartoon because oh, it, was, it that, was drawn okay, in the style no, of Rick that's and Morty. No, that's what was confusing me. I'm like, okay, yeah, I do remember that. I, okay, okay, so you're talking I thought about you were, live action? Yeah, I was. I'm like, okay, oh dude, okay. I want to see that. If there's a show where there's like real people and there's people live in miniature and there's, I, I'm down. <laughs> right. <sighs> That's, Anyways. that's a cool idea. Shoot. Yeah. The museum. The museum. Yeah. And the funny thing is, the part you talk about, it, it's not that the people, the girl on the outside, or everything's the story. It's all mm -hmm. the things going on all inside. All the things going on the, inside. Yeah. Yeah. Yup. There you Quickening. go. Quickening. 
The ideas come fast. Not as fast <laughs> as a 19-year-old based it on that doesn't. laugh. It's... You can't say... Where you can, your head but like, is, come on, man. Your, no, today your head is so deep in the gutter, I'm not even it's the one. It's funny. It's not me today. It's funny. I'm sorry. I'm going to laugh. Dick butt kiss. <laughs> Jesus. The, and that's the funny thing. It is almost like in the midst of this, everybody's like, oh, they must be. No, we're not right now, actually. And it's that there's a giddiness to it. There's an almost... A lot of this we've fallen into on purpose. Yeah, accidentally on purpose. That we've been open to... So the way I meet the world is the idea that every moment has potential if I pay attention to it. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I'm really... If I'm really in the moment, it can overwhelm. Mm-hmm. To be honest, I, I can go too far. Like, okay... But... It'll spur on in ways like so. The things that blow me away, quickening moments. Mm-hmm. Four hundred dollars soundboard for one hundred and five bucks. <laughs> and it was like, holy shit! No, we're doing this. Yeah. It and I don't know it, but that had that effect on us. It went from we have this little thing. It was a little tiny desk, and we sat here and hi, and you'd go hi. hi. We put this desk. Mm-hmm. This table was this table here when you got in here? No, no, it wasn't because I built it for D and D. Yes, that's what it's got a. Though you can't see it, it's got a rainbow. Yeah, you put the 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 bolts in and. And I actually built it before it we solid. got that, and then suddenly that appeared. You built it in the garage. Before the the stuff was in the garage, you built No, I know, but what I mean is, I built it before we had the soundboard. Right, right. And then suddenly there and was. And then a suddenly there was a soundboard that just fit perfectly. Uh, I don't know. So we've had a TV issue in our home. We did you do? had oh, the steel of Le Centauri. Well, there's no doubt that, okay, so the 55-inch TV upstairs, the main TV in the living room of the home, died. Yes. <whistles> you want to play taps? <whistles> yeah, you got it. That's off. Rip. <laughs> yeah. Um, and money's tight. We got a car outside that needs a starter. Yeah. Got another car outside that needs a bearing. Yeah. And so for two months, that TV uh, yeah, hung on the wall. Yeah. Hung and on the now wall. other people came to me and they had ideas. We, we looked for TVs. My rule was I wasn't going to pay over 100 bucks for a 55. All I understand. Right. Everybody out there is going, you can't buy a 55-inch TV for $100. Well, I tend to not buy new. I tend to be willing to buy to a neighborhood where somebody's sure they need to have the newest TV and they tend to be selling it at a reasonable price. Now, I chased multiple TVs at $100, some of them under 55 inches. There was a 40-inch I tried to get Mm. for $100. Right. Yesterday. Come to find. I go, you know what, I'm just going to look real quick. I was just looking through. I pulled up. God, I am so sorry, folks. I've got acid reflux today. Um, pull up the Craigslist as I do. As you do. Looking through the free stuff. Looking and, for the well, free. Well, I look through free. I look through materials. I'm done looking through pets at the minute because we just got two dogs. Um, I go through instruments. We've also bought. We have more amps here than we need at the moment. Right. That's how I know we're supposed to have them though. That one outside that we had under here is perfect for the bar area. You can just plug mm-hmm. a thing into it and run. You know. Yeah. That okay, what I found was a 55 inch Samsung 4K, number of years old, but when the first real 4K HDs came out, right? The picture is oh my friggin' god! I mean, we had up a sharp 55, it, and it was a nice picture, so clean. We watched Spin City because we, we usually we usually watch Spin City sometimes before we go on the show. And sometimes Daria. Sometimes, sometimes Spin City. Daria. Ahead, sometimes Spin City. Spin City you know, you're, you're we got a couple shows. No, um, it was. Oh my God, it was so much better. It was. 
And you got a new 37 inch for your room. Yes. Because a lot bigger. Ross had a 22 in his room. This is this is the one that I had in my room. This is before. The, no one can see. You it. can't see it. You it's, can't it's see it, the, but I have a second you monitor. You some now. other shows. We really have a yeah. He's got a second. Oh, well, da, 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 da. It's pretty cool. Does it feel good? It feels good. I feel like it. So the reason I bring this up is uh -huh. because the board felt that way. For some reason, this TV thing has a similar feeling, and it's not as related like, oh, this changes everything. Right. This was, oh, this changes everything. But this was like, oh, these fell into place. So in the end. We got a 55-inch Samsung. Yeah. A 37-inch LG. Yeah. And then there's 32, a... 32, I think, upstairs. A 32-inch Samsung upstairs. Yeah. Now, you might think, even used, a 55-inch Samsung, based on the prices of all the other ones on Craigslist, <laughs> should be worth two or $300. Yeah. I mean, they spent two or 3000 on it when they bought it. Jeez. It's top of the line, man. 55s when people didn't have 55s. Yeah. This is not the 6575 generation. This is when 55 was the biggest you could 55 get. 55 was the best. And this is Samsung's yeah. flagship cuz Buddy wanted his picture. Yeah. That's what that is on that yeah. wall. That TV is. That's I have to have it early. Heavy duty. But here's the funny thing, and it wore oh, The sound on it's crisp too. The sound is crystal. <laughs> okay. How's so we're we're dealing with some sound things on yours, but other than that, how's the sound in the picture on the LG? Uh, the picture is about, it's about the same, but a lot bigger, so it's easier to see, and... That's what she said. <laughs> what the fuck? Well, when you're dating no. blind girls, bigger, anyway. When you're dating blind girls! <laughs> no, um... How to pick up women. Have you ever been to the burn unit? Jeez! <laughs> what? Guaranteed every time, though. You can't! <laughs> well, you know nobody, anyway. Don't go there. To no. the burn unit? Um, okay. it's, it's, be like, I will say, like, the sound, the sound is getting to me because, like, because of, I'm, I'm hard of hearing, but also, like. We have to figure out sound. There's a way yeah. to make that work. You just haven't figured it out yet. I yes, just haven't figured it out either. there you go. I haven't figured I, it out. I, I know that there's got to be a way for, even if what it is, is I just run some Sony cables over to a speaker that's over by you that you have control of, like right. one of these. Right. And you just run. Right, I got you. To run the thing to the thing and because it's got the USBs thing. on the back. Yeah, it does. It does have USBs on the back. That's right. You just need a USB speaker to run across. It's no big deal. Okay. Cool. Is that so? Yeah, it's it's easy. So the sound part, I what because I've often thought that what you really need is a little speaker, like that is on the wall behind. Mm -hmm. Except you don't you can't lay there and watch TV. Don't you lay the other way? I. Are you afraid of the end with a tortoise that he might get you in the middle of the night? No. Or is it spiders? I lay towards that side because I like it. Uh, it's the wall is by it. No, I like that part, but the problem is then the. It's hard to watch TV from that position. Do we need to put the TV? If I close the door, it's easier to watch TV. Like if I if I crack like if I crack it open. Well, what if we put so the door's so not does the TV away. really need to be on the other side of the room so you can watch it? Does it need to be on the fireplace? I don't fireplace? know. I don't know. Or on the wall on the 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 brown wall. I okay, like it. Getting, we're getting too into the weeds on this. <laughs> um, the point is, so three TVs. Yeah, three TVs. 55, 37, 32. Yup. 80 bucks out the door. $80 total. That's 50 for the 55, 20 for the 37, and 10 for the 32. <laughs> <laughs> I want to add it up. Score! In. The the amazing thing is, if we take the we got a fifty five and a sixty nine. Fifty five and a sixty nine. <laughs> I wonder if they actually make sixty nine TVs. They don't. I don't think. I don't five think fives tend to be the norm. Fives they've gotten more normalized. They used to be crazy different sizes because they were doing weird competition things. Uh huh. Um, and so they changed the this and the that and the other. But. And that's what it feels like when we talk about the quickening. That when you're drifting down a mountain, it's it's all got to fall into place for you to make the curves. Mm. But some of it isn't you. Some of it, it's just happening. It's just and happening. It's, well, that in drifting, what you're really doing is using the momentum of the car in a way that's meaningful. You're that not means, actually driving. 
you're just well you're in con- well you're doing the you're driving in control you're doing of the no car. well and you're no you're adding right. gas at places it doesn't make sense right okay that you're literally drifting so in other words that you're spinning the car in a way that as you're the only reason you're not going off the curve mm-hmm. is because you're still moving forward so you're right yeah no it's a it's a messed up trick i have no idea how to drift i've never drifted really? um i i believe joey has but anyways my friend used to drift. It was pretty, it was the, pretty horrifying, <laughs> scary. Well, and that's the thing, because you have to accept that the outside forces are at play as well. Yeah. And that's a lot of what we're doing. That's a lot of our reality. That we're working diligently, but the outside forces have a huge impact. Oh, yeah, definitely. I, 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 I work endlessly with the idea that um, the chaos is an important part of it. Mm-hmm. The unexpected. It's the things we can't control. Yeah. Well, yeah. The the least the less I expect, the more unexpected things happen because I wasn't expecting anything. Yeah. That's how that's how unexpected works. But to <laughs> I, I but that sounds so simple. But I'm telling you, it is so powerful. Well, it's hard to remember. It it's... changes the opportunity, the potential of the moment. Mm-hmm. If you walk into a moment with an expectation. It can be let down. I mean, we're expectation-driven creatures. We no, we choose to be. Well, yeah. We don't have to be. I don't think so. No. That I think, but, as opposed to an expectation of what's going to happen outside of you, you figure out your bit, and then you get to be delighted and amazed by what happens next because you don't have control over all of that. Mm-hmm. I'm only saying we use our expectations to navigate situations, and it's 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 not the way we should do it. That I, I the think, way we well, should that, do it is... It's, we joke about fantasizing is catastrophizing with extra steps. Yes. That Because once you've built the fantasy, there's something to go wrong now. Oh, yeah, definitely. But if I enter each moment like I've never been there before, sometimes I drift right through. Sometimes you just skirt. Skirt, skirt. Where's the line? I know. It was kind of an offbeat episode. I love you guys. Don't worry. We'll be back tomorrow. We've got... At least two more interviews to do today, uh, meetings. It's a crazy day. It's a crazy day. But exciting potential. Look for it. Yerp. Don't forget to drift and stop by Tokyo if you get a chance. All I know about Tokyo is they have good hot dogs at the airport. Mm-mm-mm. Where's the line? Where's the line? Where's the line? I wonder if these are, I don't know if these are scheduled or not. Where's the line? It, it gives me a notification fit, uh, like at 12. I think I forgot to...